Hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Everything okay? Are you ready to start? Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> nice. Glad to see you again. <laughs> Ada Arevalu, Ada Arevalu. Let me see. Hello. Let me see your name here in the platform. Let me see your name here. Ah, okay, Ada Arevalu. You had made all you uh, let me see. Yeah, you had all, all the homeworks, right? Okay, we have Henara. Welcome, Henara. How are you? Fine. Okay, okay. Nice. Nice to see you again. <laughs> what about you, Alexis? Fine, teacher. Nice. Alexis, according to the report that I have here in the in the platform, you are missing the homework number three and number four. Hello, Alexis. Hello, teacher. Según el reporte que tengo de, de la plataforma, a usted le hace falta la tarea 3 y la tarea 4. Necesito que la realice porque ya estoy cuadrando esos cuadros, ese, sí, ese informe. Copiado, teacher. No sé cuál otro le haga falta, fíjese, ya vamos a verificar. Uh, no sé si se encuentra Ana Roxana. Ana Roxana. No está. No se ve que. Diana Carolina. Tampoco. No, no ha llegado. Ok, vamos a esperarlos. Teacher. Hello. Yo ya hice la tarea 3 y la 4. Your name is? Alexis Antonio. Sí. Pero fíjese que en el reporte no tiene nota. Solo tiene la 1 y la 2. Luego el promedio, tiene el examen. Sí, voy en la, en la 8, en la 10 voy ya. 
Ajá. Pero de, dele una revisadita ahí a la, número, a la número 3 y 4 para ver qué es lo que sucede. Porque aquí me aparece que no. Okay. Cristian Obdulio. ¿Se encuentra por ahí? No. no. Edward, Edward Ademir. Eliani. Eliani. Fausto. Francisco Javier. No están todavía. Germán Alejandro. Carla Marielos. Ya entró. Hola. Teachers, este, yo no, habla esta primera jiva. Eh, yo no he hecho lo de la plataforma, pero ya hoy lo voy a hacer porque hoy me entregaron la laptop. Ah, ok, sí, porque estoy revisando y yo necesito ir cuadrando el informe. Sí, no, le explicaba la semana pasada que estaba sí, que, mi... sí tenía, tenía problemas con su computador. Ajá, ¿cierto? y en el trabajo tenemos ciertas páginas bloqueadas y no me dejaba entrar no, bueno. a la página de inglés corporativo. Sí. Pero ya hoy en la noche voy a hacer todas las tareas. Sí, <ríe> Te no lo va, prometo. No va a dormir hoy. No, hoy no voy a dormir, pero ya hoy yo tengo la computadora, entonces ya hoy voy a, voy a poder hacerlo. Ok, tranquila, tranquila. Ok. Sí, okay, crazy. Ok, en español, ah, necesito que todos los participantes realicen todas las actividades que les hacen falta en la plataforma, porque eh, ya tengo que ir haciendo el reporte. Debí haberlo hecho la semana anterior y por estar todavía esperando, pues no, no hemos avanzado. Entonces, le suplico que vayamos y, uh, haciéndola. Si tienen algún problema con la plataforma, solamente me, me contactan y con gusto les eh, voy a auxiliar en ello. Perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok, 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 ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Genara García, mire, ya tiene al menos hasta el midterm y la final de la semana ah, está. A Darévalo también. Karen Sunsin también las tiene todas. Bueno, son pocos los que están completos. Son poquitos. Y el resto necesito que todos se pongan listos. Remember that based on that, uh, you are going to pass for the next module. You need to do all the homeworks that you have in the platform, please. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I am quiet. Okay. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay.
let me see how many of you eight. We have only eight. Only Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Bueno, algunos me comentan que están teniendo problemas para ingresar en la plataforma. Es posible que sea cuestión de conectividad. Okay. Let me see only eight. And I'm still waiting for the rest. I don't know what is happening with them. Well, uh, in order to start today, I would like to ask you some kind of question related to behaviors in your job. Do you know what is a what is the meaning of the word behavior? No. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, behaviors on conductas. De esas tenemos conductas que son apropiadas y conductas que son inapropiadas. But in this case, we are going to talk about uh, an appropriate behavior in your companies, for example. I need that you tell me that you mentioned some behavior that are not acceptable in your company. Algunas conductas que no son aceptadas en su empresa, en su compañía, traten de recordar. Just try to remember you, you might you have it, okay? What about bullying in your company? Be respectful. Excuse me, could you repeat again, please? Be respectful. Uh, disrespect, okay. What else? No, fine. Ah, okay. We need to avoid fighting. Intolerant. Intolerant. Okay. What else? Corruption. Yeah. No smoking. Um, okay. Impunctuality, uh, very aggressive. Louder, louder, please. Impuntualidad. Y ser agresivos. Un, un, Aggressive or abuse behavior? Be uh -huh, agresivo. So, a shooting or personal insult? What about insulting someone? Discrimination. Oh, discrimination or harassment relating to a uh, protected characteristic. Okay. Unwanted physical contact. What about stalking? Stalking. Yeah, stalking. Offensive command, job, or body language. What else? Bullying? Yeah, bullying. 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 Abusive. What else? Abusive. Abusivo? Ah. Yeah, it's just this kind of harassment. Do you remember uh, a situation that happened to you five years ago, maybe in your company, related to bad behaviors with somebody else? ¿Se recuerdan de algo que haya pasado hace cinco años que tenga que ver con 
mala conducta de alguna persona en su compañía o empresa. ¿No? Ok, mejor. Solo buenas experiencias tenemos en las empresas. That is so important. Ok. Ok, 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 ok. Today uh, we are going to talk about uh, react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. How is your reaction? And we are going to start with uh, exercise number one. And we have a question. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Yes or not? Tell me. ¿Existe en su empresa o su compañía regulaciones acerca de las conductas de los empleados? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Yes. Ok, tell me. Eh, eh, my case, in company, eh, use uh, closed shoes. Okay. What about the rest? Okay, could you name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company? Only three, please. No more than three. Try to remember, I told you, try to remember. In my company, okay, a second. In your company? You can head second. You can head second. In Spanish, what, what could be? Ah, en mi presa no se puede llegar tomado. Ah, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Do you know how to, how do you say tomado? Alcoholizado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's drunk, drunk. 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 Okay. Okay. That means that if you are going to work tomorrow, you have to avoid drinking any kind of sleep, all right? Okay, somebody else? In my company. Yeah, Dale, Margarita. only one, please. So you, Margarita. Vaya, gracias. Este, in my company, uh, having loud music or wearing uh, headphones. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice audífonos? Headphones. Ajá, eso vaya. Uh, during uh, ah, work hours. <laughs> eh, en la empresa eh, es prohibido tener música fuerte o el uso de los audífonos en horas laborales. Ah, ok. Ok, that means that you can use headphone. You need to be careful about your, what you are doing in your job, ok? 
Okay. Somebody else? In, in my company, uh, there is a regulation. I do not know allows you to pay. Pay or pay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Es decir, este, en, mi, en mi compañía existe un reglamento y no se permiten las peleas. Ah, oh, ok, fight. No fighting, no fighting there, ok. Fight. Ok, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? Aló. Eh, Mi teacher. Ok. You can buy letter in my company. Ah. En mi compañía no se puede llegar tarde. Don't be late in your company, ¿ok? Ok. Y si llega tarde, you are fired. Si llega tarde, despedido. O descuento. Ah, discount. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Discount. Ok. Okay, somebody else. Let me see how many people do we have. 13. Tenemos 13 personas. Hay alguien que me está escribiendo y me está diciendo de que la plataforma no le permite entrar. Hello, how are you? Diana. Ah, Diana. Ahora sí, no, la veo, no se ve triste hoy, se ve así, with more energy, more power, you know. <laughs> Yesterday, and, sí. yeah, I saw you así, kind of tired, you know. Estaba cansado. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. But what, what about your company? Could you share, uh, share with me some unacceptable behavior? Eh, estaba preguntando como las cosas que no se, no se podían hacer en las compañías, algo así. Conductas inapropiadas que sucedan. Conductas inapropiadas. No hay todo azul en your company. Ok, 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 ok. Sí. Okay. Nice. <risa> nice. <Hay problema>. <risa> ok. Let us see, Edward. Edward, where are you? Hi, hi. Uh, fine. Well, more or less. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the topic for today, in order to start the class? Unacceptable behaviors. Um, Some type could be. Uh, como, como se dice, no está permitido. It's not allowed. Not allowed. Uh, y, y bromas. Jokes. Jokes. Eh, deletreado, perdón. Uh, J O C K S. Jokes. Jokes. Yeah, jokes. Okay, in my company is perdón perdón como como dijo no 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 es permitido it's, it's not allowed it's not allowed yeah okay no in, está permitido in my company is no it's not allowed uh, the jokes okay that means that you need to be so serious with everybody okay Maybe just laugh, but no jokes. 
Okay. What about, let me see, let me see. Roxana Bautista, I don't see your face here. Uh, Eliani, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? Right here, yes, trying to do my best. Okay. Thank you. Okay, by, by the way, I'm going to talk about something else. I'm going to tell you in Spanish. Uh, cuando comencé la clase de hoy, comencé diciéndoles a los que ya estaban que ya estoy haciendo el reporte de notas de sus actividades, pero estoy viendo a muchos participantes que no han realizado sus tareas. Necesito que lo hagamos lo más pronto posible porque hay algunos que no tienen ninguna actividad y a otros les hace falta dos o tres actividades. Entonces es importante que nos pongamos al día porque dependiendo de sus notas, así es la promoción. Necesitamos los resultados. Entonces los invito a que entren a la plataforma y puedan realizar sus actividades desde el inicio. Les he venido diciendo, no dejemos que se nos acumulen demasiadas actividades. Terminamos una hoy, el siguiente día en un rato libre, no nos llevamos tanto tiempo para resolverlo y así podemos ir al día. Felicito a los que ya tienen todas sus notas de las actividades que se han posteado y a quienes no lo han hecho, invitarlos a hacerlo lo más rápido posible ya que, como dije, estoy ya pues debí haberlo hecho antes y no lo, no lo he hecho aún esperando que ustedes puedan realizar sus actividades. So please, I invite you to do it. Los invito, los invito a que realicen las actividades. Ok. Y ahí me aparecen, la mayoría está ahí pendiente de sus actividades. Ahí aparecen sus, nom sus nombrecitos. Teacher. Hello. In my, in my case, eh, de eh, Chan. Change, change uh, my user. Uh -huh, okay. And everything got lost at home. Uh, have have problem in in principal in in, in user. Okay. User in usuario, verdad? Yeah. Y Per, perdí todo, ¿cómo se dice? I lost everything. I lost everything. Pero espero ponerme al día porque... Ok, eh, le recomiendo que eh, en el grupo haga la consulta y escriba que si cómo podía hacer, que, lo que pasó para buscar la forma de poderle ayudar. Es que sí, ya, ya, me, ya me lo resolvieron, pero... Ah, ok. Eh, eh, perdí todo, el, el, el técnico se, se percató que perdí todo lo que había hecho. ¿Y cuál, fue, ¿Y cuál fue la sugerencia de él, que lo hiciera de nuevo? Que empiece ahorita de nuevo con todo. Ok, va a aprender doble. Ok, gracias. <risa> ok, you're welcome. Ok, sí, bueno, al final o oh, el día de mañana me pueden contactar ahí y me pueden, porque estaba viendo que algunos dicen ya las tengo todas, pero el reporte que tengo no es, no es así. El día de mañana me pueden escribir eh, y les voy consultando y les voy diciendo cómo es cada situación, ¿ok? Hello. Hello. Welcome back. How are you? Thank you. I can hear you. I can I, hear you. I, I, have a question. I can hear you, my friend. I don't know mm -hmm. if you are having some problem with your connection. Okay, could you speak now? Will, will you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Now it's much better. 
Okay. Uh, I have a question. Okay, okay. Will you give us information about about homework? Because I, if I saw in in the platform, I can see that that uh, today made the uh, the 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 activity the homework about yesterday, but yeah. I don't know yeah. if if I I write or or oh. I didn't. Then I, if you if you will give us uh, every a, a, a feedback about the homework. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it, but it's gonna be personal right here. Okay. I do really sorry, but I can give you an answer right now because remember that we are expecting that somebody else uh, do some activities. Entonces, lo puedo hacer con mucho gusto en el grupo, eh, en forma individual a cada uno, le puedo este, ir haciendo como un feedback de, de sus actividades, ¿no? No dándole la respuesta, desde luego, sino que, no. eh, ¿verdad? Explicándoles o clarificándoles el, tal vez el, el porcentaje que tuvieron, si es que es necesario decirlo. Y de esa manera podemos uh, ir interactuando un poco más porque es necesaria la comunicación. ¿Ok? ¿Comprendido? Yes. Ok, next time it's going to be in English, everything. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. If you need help, yes, write me, send, send, send me a message. If you are, ok, any question about it, just let me know. And I'm here to help you. Okay. Let us work in our material right now. Okay. Okay. Talking about exercise number two, we are going to listen. I'm going to read the conversation and we are going to practice with somebody else. First of all, I need that you take a look at the picture that we have. What can you tell me? Before I start reading, what can you tell me about the picture that I have? ¿Qué me puede decir de la, de la, de la imagen que tengo ahí antes de leer la conversación? Take a look at the picture, please. A una persona trabajando y, um, no sé, a su jefe. Okay, but in English? Tell me in English, tell me in English, please. I, I can see a woman working a in person, his laptop. A person, a person working. A person to working. be a worker? A person to work in, in the office. Okay, I am listening. I can see teacher a girl, a girl? working in, in her laptop okay. and a man that I, I can see he has in his hand because I only look here his back. Yes. Okay. What else? A person with her co-worker. Okay. What else? Somebody else? Mm. Tell me. Yes, take a look at the picture. Okay, we have two people in the picture. One lady is in front of her computer. 
Maybe she's checking some information. And we have a man in front of her. And also we have a watch. We have a watch there. Maybe he is in an appointment or in an office, right? Okay. Uh, what is happening there? Let us see. We are going to read the conversation between Claudia and Raul. Okay, Claudia said, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? What can you tell me about what Claudia said? She's talking about Robert. Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's only, only being in, in his cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, we, we need to be careful about it in our job because sometimes we tend to forget that we are in our uh, workplace and we uh, start chatting too much. But what about what about you? Are you addicted to your to your phone or not? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Because when... not teacher, only free time. Okay, only free time. That is good. That is good. Okay, I'm going to continue. I can't believe it. Robert is an addicted to his phone. Do you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. What can you tell me about this child conversation? What is happening there? Just tell me. Remember that you don't need to understand exactly all the words in order to know the message that the conversation has given us. So please tell me. Hello? Are you there? Yes? Yes, yeah, teacher. Teacher. I, okay. Sometimes sometime we have to answer any uh, answer many, many chats by cell phone. Yeah. Or sending e uh, email. But it is uh, no always it is correct because when the people worker uh, need some help and ask um, uh, ask us for help if we we are on the cell phone uh, many many people get uh, but my boss don't attend me because uh, how do you say no suelta el teléfono <laughs> yeah he's addicted to his or her phone yeah but yeah many people I, I I guess sometimes they can guess um, my boss don't don't help me because always that I I ask for help. He is chatting with 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 somebody. Yeah. He never pay attention to me just to be in his phone. Yeah. Yeah. That usually happen. Okay. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to read it again. Try to keep in your mind. I can't believe it, Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? 
You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Yeah, it's a shared conversation. Okay, now um, you are going to read it, but with your microphone uh, mute. Lo van a leer solo con su vista. And you are going to identify all the word that uh, you have problem with the pronunciation. Leanlo, identifiquen las palabras que le dan problema al momento de pronunciar. You have a minute to do it. Tienen un minuto para hacerlo. Time is over, time is over. Now you can ask questions about it. Teacher, tell me. What is the pronunciation about uh, the word pol poli police? A polite? Polite? Polite. 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 And the última palabra In de Claudia. Yeah. Instead. 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 Polite y instead. Yeah. Okay. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome. Teacher, I had problem that pronounce uh, absolute, 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 absolutely, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. What about you, Carla? Everything okay? No problem at all? Teacher, ahí donde dice Robert, en la primera donde dice Robert is addicted. Ah, Robert is addicted. Addicted. Do you remember when I explained the way how to pronounce the ED? At the end of Wheeler verse, ¿se recuerdan cuando expliqué las pronunciaciones que llevan los verbos irregulares, especialmente cuando terminan en T y D? Addicted. Addicted, yeah. Addicted. He's addicted to his phone. Okay. What else? Uh, teacher. En la palabra instead, what is the meaning? Because I have a church uh, en lugar de, yeah, en yeah. vez, yeah. sitio. Yeah, agree. We should help him instead. Sería, sería. Ah, pero sería ¿cómo sería que... la traducción? Deberíamos de ayudarlo en vez de hablar de él o algo yeah. así. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because right here, Raul is saying, 
Raúl está hablando de que eh, él debería responder sus mensajes después de la reunión, pero le dice no deberíamos de estar hablando de él. Eso no es cortés. Además, entonces aquí le dice de acuerdo, deberíamos ayudarle mejor. ¿Ya? O en vez de estar hablando de él. En vez de instead, instead of. Ok. Son variados. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Loel, this is this is going to be the last time. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his son. Do you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer the messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree, we should help him instead. Okay. No problem. Any question? I don't have a question, teacher. Okay, no question at all. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, we got 14. Uh, we are going to practice with somebody else. I'm going to give you like 120 seconds in order that you can practice with somebody else. I'm going to assign some breakout room. I'm going to create seven breakout room. So please. Let me see, I'm going to create this. And let me see the option that we are going to have. After two minutes. Okay, let us practice. Practice the conversation, please. Diana Carolina, go to room four, please. Go to room four. Diana, you need to join.
Okay, welcome back. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Okay, I need I need balance. I can't see you. Really? What about the rest? Fausto has trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can. Oh, I, I saw I some, some, some participants uh, that they didn't interact with each other. Ahí vi a varios que no, no se unieron al salón asignado. I don't know why. Eh, no sé si es porque no encontramos la mecánica como hacerlo o es porque les está dando problemas de conexión. Necesito que me aclaren eso para así poderles ayudar. Eh, teacher, my, cake, my case. ¿Y yo? Eh, I leave myself out. Ah, you do it by accident? Yes. Okay. We need, we need... Lento el internet. Fíjese que últimamente uh, las conexiones, casi todas las compañías están así. Yo tengo un problema, teacher, con el internet. Sí, se le está. Se le está oyendo entrecortado. Me too, es que teacher. Yo yeah, a lot of people también. we have problem. De hecho, este, en mi sector no hay internet y ahorita estoy rogando que me alcancen los datos para mantenerme conectada. <risa> ok. Nice. Ni, ni, pero no, nadie se conectó conmigo. Nadie quiso hablar con Genara. <risa> okay. No, no, no. That's not fair. No sé por qué están los problemas de, de Redbird. Yes. Ok, I need a, a, a couple. Necesito una pareja voluntaria que haga la conversación. Solo, just tell me. Solo sí, teacher. Wilfredo. Ok, Wilfredo, ¿en? Bien. Ok, do it. Diana, hey. you're going to be Claudia. Okay, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He shall not chat. Meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Instead. Thank you. Nice. Welcome. Nice. Okay. Somebody else? Meet teacher. Okay. We, Leslie. And Leslie. Okay. Do it. Uh, I am Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meetings, and we should not talk about him. <laughs> not to lie either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, nice. Somebody else? Otra pareja que desee participar? Me, teacher. Ok, with? Me. Ok, Eliana. 
Good. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. We should help instead. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else. The last couple, la última pareja. Come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm giving you the chance to do it. No hay voluntarios, okay. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Se lo voy a leer la última vez. Para los que ya lo hicieron, ahí van a encontrar algunas cositas que hay que corregirnos, ¿sí? Ok. He said, I can't believe it, Rob. Robert is addicted to his fun. Do you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's move to exercise number three. You already did. But we have some question here. Discuss the question with a partner. We have number one. Who wants to read it? Quien quiere leer la question one? Me teacher. Okay. Tell me. What, what are some polite behaviors? Behavior? Be, behavior? Behavior. You speak, you speak from you mm -hmm. to workers. Okay. What are some polite behavior you expect from your co worker? What about the second? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, tell me. What what are some rule babers your co-workers are not expected to do? Okay. I need that you repeat this word. Behavior. Behaviors. 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 Okay. Behaviors. Yeah, we we had two two different questions, right? Tenemos dos preguntas ahí. What are some polite behavior you expect from your co-workers? And what are some rude behavior your co-workers are not expected to do? And, and we got an example. We got an explanation in exercise number four right here. Behavior that way that someone act in different situation. A eso se le llama behavior. The way that someone acts in different situations. But tell me in Spanish the meaning of this question. En la pregunta uno, ¿cómo dice? Tell me. I want to be sure that you understand exactly. Uh, la la política de comportamiento. Eh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Dale, Wilfredo. Eh, es como... Eh, ¿Cuáles son algunas de las políticas del comportamiento 
eh, acerca de los, de los compañeros. Con respecto a los compañeros. Yeah, remember that polite is cortés. Cortés, ajá. Mi teacher. Ok, dame. Uh, Podría ser cuáles son los comportamientos corteses que esperamos de nuestros compañeros. Yeah, that's right. In your company, right? And what about the second one? ¿Qué hay de la número dos? Lo contrario a la primera. Si por una yeah. es la, uh -huh, está la, como el comportamiento brusco, rudo. The rude okay. behavior. Like que no esperamos, que no esperamos de nuestros compañeros. Yeah. Okay. That's right. But before to go to the next activity, I need that you pay a special attention to the word involved in the conversation. We have should not chat, should answer, should not talk. What is that? Okay. Should help. Ah, that means that we are talking about should, right? Estamos haciendo uso de should. Okay. But before to continue, let me check up the assistant, please. Let me see. Let me see the assistant. What day is today? Today is? Hmm, lo encontré fuera de cancha. Ah. Tuesday. Ah, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. 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 Yeah, Tuesday. What about the rest of information? Tuesday 16. Expand. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. okay well, let me see. Okay. Are they Daisy? Are they Daisy? Are you there? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. 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 Alexis, Antonio, Sandoval. Alexi Antonio? Teacher. You are there, right? Okay, and Roxana Bautista? Present, teacher. Okay, present. Uh, let me see. Christian Obdulio? What's up, Sandoy? Mm, what about Diana Carolina? Is present? Present, teacher. Edward Ademir? Present teacher. Eliani. Eliani, Eliani. Present. Fausto, I saw you, Fausto, Fausto. Felicita. Felicita is not here, right? Felicita is not here. Uh, Francisco Javier. Francisco. Francisco. Ah, este está de turno, teacher, sí. y, y en Acajutle bastante movido a esta hora. I know, I know. Sí, él, él me escribió, incluso él me dijo que <coughs> iba a tratar de conectarse en un tiempo que estuviese libre. Vamos a continuar en espera, a ver qué dice. Genara. Present, teacher. Helen Maria, Karen Yesenia, Ed 
Karen Yesenia. Not present today. Okay, uh, Carla Marielos. Present teacher. Leslie Fernandez. Present teacher. Mengibar Contreras. Mengibar Contreras. Present teacher. Okay, Utierre Sánchez. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza. Present teacher. Walter Morales. Hello, teacher. Present. My sir, sir, sir. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. I don't know why, but today you are the last one. I don't know how how switch everything here. Okay, 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 okay. Going back to the topic that we are studying right now, I would like to share some information with you. But I can see it here. I got it here. I got it here. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to give you an explanation extra information about should and shouldn't, when we are going to use it. When we are going to use should and shouldn't, okay? We are going to use should and shouldn't to express the conditional move or replace a subjunctive structure. Also, we can use it, should is an auxiliary verb, a model auxiliary verb. We use should mainly to give advice or make a recommendation. Sometimes we can use it to talk about obligation and talk about probability and expectation. Yeah. And the structure that we are going to follow is this. The basic structure for should is the subject the auxiliary verb should and the main verb. I need that you keep in mind this structure. Necesito que mantenga en su mente esta estructura donde usamos el sujeto, después el should, después el verbo principal. Okay? Okay, not that. The auxiliary verb should is invariable. There is only one for should. Es algo invariable, solamente hay una forma. The main verb is usually in the pay form. Example, he should go. He should go. In this case, if we are using the auxiliary should, right here, we are not going to have any kind of inflections. Okay, look at the basic structure again with positive, negative, and question sentences. Example, subject, auxiliary should, not in the main their base. He should work. Negative. You should not go. In question, should we help? Okay, in order to ask question, what we have to do is just to move the auxiliary should to the beginning, and then we are going to put the subject. Okay. What else do we have here? Okay, that buys an opinion you give someone about what they should do. Do you understand this concept? Se comprende el concepto? Hello, hello. Yes. Yes or not? Perfect. Okay, take a look at this example. You should be wearing a helmet. Do you know what is a helmet? Saben lo que es un helmet? No? No, teacher. Okay, take a look at the man in the motorcycle. Vea al caballero que va en la motocicleta, ¿qué es lo que le falta? Que él debería llevar. 
Kasko. Ah, that is called helmet. Yeah. You should be wearing a helmet. You should wear a helmet. Okay, let me see something else. Should and shouldn't. We use should and shouldn't to give advice. Oh. To talk or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Nosotros usamos should or shouldn't para dar sugerencias o hablar de lo que nosotros pensamos que está bien o está mal. Example, you look tired. You should go to bed. Cansado. Tú te ves cansado. Yeah. Usted ves cansado. debe yeah. irse a la cama. Ya? Yeah? ¿Se comprende? Yes. Yes? Yes. But what about the, the rest of people there? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Hello. Yes, you teacher. should do something. It is a good thing to do. Usted debería hacer algo. Es bueno que usted lo haga. Example, the government should do more to help homeless people. The government should do more to help homeless people. Explain me the example, please. Somebody is telling that the government should do more to help homeless people. ¿Qué significa homeless? Homeless, 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 homeless. people. Uh, homeless is the person that uh, sometime on on traffic light, they, they, they uh, ask for money. Los que se ponen los semáforos to ask you, give me, give me some money, please. Will you give me a quarter? Will you give me a 10? <laughs> Esos son los homeless. Homeless. <laughs> ¿Son los? Sí, ¿cómo se refiere a los No, las personas que eh, están perdón. como pidiendo una ayuda en los semáforos, mm. a veces limpiando el vidrio. O haciendo... Gente uh -huh, este, uh -huh. sin hogar, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Prácticamente, sí. Esos son los homeless. Homeless. Homeless yeah. people. people. Debería hacer más para ayudar the government should do more to help homeless people because they need shelter, they need food, they need a place where they can take a shower and so on. They need medicine too, a lot of things, you know. That is homeless. Okay. What about this one? Oops, sorry. Let me see. I'm going back. You should. Let me see what is happening here. I can see very well. I need to move this. Yes. Can you read it? Yes. Will you read it for me, please? Yes, teacher. You should? You shouldn't? You you should should do something. It isn't a good thing to do. Okay. Example, the kid shouldn't spend too much time in front of that TV. The kids shouldn't spend so much time in front of that TV. That means that we are going to use shouldn't uh, in something that is not good. In another word could be kind of negative, right? That kid shouldn't spend so much time in front of that TV. What is the meaning of that expression? Please tell me. ¿Qué significado tiene eso? Los niños, los chicos, ¿sí? No deberían estar no deberían, tiempo, sí, no deberían, deberían estar tiempo. tiempo enfrente de la de la TV. 
no deberían de gastar mucho tiempo en frente de la TV. La TV. Ok, 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 ok. Ok, right here you already had the answers, right? Circle the correct option. For example, right here you should brush your teeth twice a day to have a bright smile. ¿Qué dice ahí? Do you, do you know the meaning of the word brush? Debería de cepillar los dientes. Yeah, brush, brush. Dientes. Twice. Debería Twice a day. Dos veces al día. Los dientes. To have a bright smile. A day. To have a bright smile. Okay. Okay. Okay, number two. People, people should or shouldn't hurt the animal because they are our friends. Yeah. What does it mean? Because they are our friends. Okay. Yeah. People shouldn't, shouldn't hurt. Okay, number three. Who wants to read it? Number three. It is going to rain. You sure? Uh, no sé qué dice. Está lloviendo. Tú deberías. Okay, okay. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, uh, I need that Diana finish reading the sentence. Sorry, Leo. Yeah, again, please. Okay. It is going to rain. You sure? Take an umbrella. Yeah. It is going to rain. You should take an umbrella. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. In Spanish, it's, uh, it's clear. Creo que está clara en español. If you see that it's going to rain, you are going to... Está you should, lloviendo. You should Tú take deberías. an umbrella. Okay. Tú deberías... Teacher, eh, perdón, ahí, ahí sería como que sería como que comenzará a llover, ¿verdad? Debería de tomar una sombrilla o, o es que ya está ya está ya está lloviendo. No, it is going to rain. It is going to rain. Es como cuando, cuando usted sale de su casa y ve el cielo que está oscuro, entonces dice, lloverá. ¿Ya? Es como que va a llover, ¿verdad? Como que va a llover, no es que ya esté lloviendo. Ajá. Okay. Aquí está, going to es para impresiones de futuro a corto espacio. It is going to rain, lloverá. Así como en buen salvadoreño decimos, va a llover. Ya, yeah, but the right way is lloverá. You should take an umbrella. Usted debería llevar una sombrilla, okay? Number four. We should or shouldn't sleep at night to be fresh. That right is, we should. We should. At night. Esta noche. Esta noche. Está fresca. Está fresca. To be fresh. Deberíamos de dormir en la noche para estar frescos el siguiente día. Okay. Ya, yeah. cuando no dormimos bien en la noche, no estamos frescos. Okay, number five. You, you, should, should, you should wash your hand before eating. Before eating. Yeah. 
And now it's very important to do that because there is a problem that we call it COVID. And that way we are going to avoid COVID, right? Usted debería lavarse las manos antes de comer, not only before eating, not only before eating. If you touch money, you need to wash your hand. Okay, number six, you should or shouldn't drink too much coffee. You shouldn't drink too much coffee. Why? Will you tell me why? Yes. Um, yes. Mucha cafeína. Okay. Because the much, uh, much caffeine alter um, nervioso, sistema nervioso. The nervous? Nervous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but most, most, most of the people are used to drink a lot of coffee, you know. In my case, I, I, I don't drink coffee, you know. I just drink only just water and some lemonade and different kind of juice. But not yeah. coffee. But not coffee. I don't like coffee. But I, I, but I, I drink... drink I, I drink coffee only early in the morning. Really? Okay. Okay, what about number seven? You should do your homework to be a good student. Okay, listen that sentence. Listen that sentence. You should do your homework to be a good student. Debería. Student. ¿Sí? Deberías Listen. hacer la, la tarea para ser un buen estudiante. Ah, okay. In the platform. Okay, somebody is telling you something to you. If you want to be a good student, you are going to do all your homeworks. I invite you to do it. Then the last one, number eight, we should help all people. Are you agree with me? Nosotros, uy, ay, ayudar, ayudaremos, deberíamos de ayudar a las personas mayores. Yeah. Do you do it or not? Yeah. ¿Lo hacemos o no lo hacemos? Uh, a veces. We should. We should help yeah. all <laughs> people. In occasions, sí. Ah, only just in occasion. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, I got the answer here and I was waiting for... Okay, this is a kind of exercise that I have here. But I already resolved it. Complete with should or shouldn't. I'm going to read it. Listen to the music. Our neighbors shouldn't play music that loud on these hours. Oye esa música. Nuestros vecinos no deberían de poner esa música tan fuerte a estas horas, a esta hora, you know? Number two, if your tooth is still hurting tomorrow, hurting you tomorrow, you should go to the dentist. Number three, before going to Madrid for your holidays, you should try and learn something of the language. You will enjoy things a lot more. Number four, you should always knock on the door before entering. Do you know what is the word knock? ¿Saben lo que significa knock? No, algo es que no. Tomar. No. Teacher, es tocar, tocar la puerta. Yeah, in this way. 
Yes, yeah. knock on the door. You should always knock on the door before entering. This is a private office. Yeah. Number five, the model on the TV is too skinny. He should eat more, I think. La modelo en la televisión is too skinny. What is the word skinny? She should eat more, I think. Ella debería comer más, pienso. Ahí le da la respuesta de what is the meaning of skinny. Ok. Hello. Skinny es como muy delgada. Yep. Skinny. Okay, number six, pregnant women shouldn't smoke or uh, it can damage the baby. What? Teacher, teacher. Okay, tell me. Pregnant is preñada o embarazada. Yeah, 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 the pregnant Embarazada. Embarazada. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> No, perdón, es que es por, por, por cómo se ve la, la palabra, no es por otra cosa. <risa> perdón, <risa> perdón. Lo relaciona así rapidito con el español. Sí, you know? no, pero ella está fregada andar diciendo, pues sí, porque okay, no, ya. Somos <risa> <risa> <Okay. risa> más mujeres. <risa> Cabal, ya voy a salir ahí demandado y no, no, no. <risa> we have problem, we Estas have... clases se graban. <risa> we have problem. Y después van a estar pidiendo como prueba. Jesus. No. No, 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 no. no. That is why I, I invite you to, to respect each other, you know. Okay, number, let me see, uh, seven. Lizzie should add Brian to help her with her studies. He did the same course last year. What is the meaning of the expression? Lizzie? Lizzie debería preguntar, preguntar a Brian. A Brian. Pedirle, pedirle ayuda. Ayudar con sus estudios. Sí, puede ayudar con sus estudios. Ah, él, él hizo los mismos cursos el año pasado. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Ok, I like that. Ok, your turn, right? Your, Four sentences are giving advice to tourists in your country, but I'm going to stop right here. This part is going to be my wrap up. Okay, esa parte la vamos a dejar para la última actividad. And let me see the time that we have. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see right here in the book. We can find an explanation about how to use uh, should and shouldn't in a different way. I already explained it. Ya les expliqué cómo es el uso de should. Aquí solo vamos a reforzar eh, algunos conceptos. Okay, look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. The bar should answer my good morning greeting. El guardia debería de responder mi buenos días, el saludo de buenos días. Pero llega y le dice good morning. And he doesn't answer you, right? ¿Les ha sucedido que llegan, saludan al guardia y no le responden? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that usually happens. Okay. Okay. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. What is the meaning of that expression? Linda, ¿qué debería de hacer? Saludar. Sí. Saludar con apretón de mano. Excellent. Yes, okay. The supervisor should use a greeting in his email. What happened with the supervisor? Debería usar 
saludos en sus correos. Correo. Un yeah. saludo. Sí. Un saludo. Sí. The situation is that he only just uh, send the, the, the information that he required, but he forgets to use a greeting, a greeting. Él solo manda la información, por favor, trabajen, pero se le olvida poner un saludito ahí. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should say, please, when you ask for a favor. Tell me. Tú deberías decir, por pues, favor, cuando haces. Cuando, cuando preguntas. Un favor. Cuando preguntas. Ah, cuando, cuando preguntas. Cuando, preguntas. <laughs> cuando pides, cuando pides un favor. Así sería mejor la traducción. Okay, based on the example, we are going to fill this gap. You should, the infinity form, or the, the base, base form. Four. Okay. The base form. Porque si fuera infinity, llevaría two aquí, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, plus any complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. Mire, para dar una sugerencia directa. Ok, take a look at the right side. Veamos el lado derecho. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. What does mean? Darío no debería de usar muchos emojis en sus correos. Correos. A lot of emojis. Helen should not speak so loudly. So loudly. Helen no debería hablar tan... Tan alto. Tan lento. Loudly, loudly. Alto. Alto, ah, perdón, alto. Alto. Slowly. Yeah, it's different. Okay, Gabriel should, uh, should not tell sexist joke. Gabriel should not tell a sexist joke. Eh, Gabriel no debería de decir sí. bromas sexistas. Yeah. Y ahí está la palabra bromas, eh, Edward. Jokes. De, de eso me acordé cuando lo vi. Jokes. <laughs> okay. okay. Your boss should not shadow you. Su jefe no debería gritarle. Su jefe no debería de gritarle a usted. Okay. Let us do this. You should plus not the infinity form or the base form. The base form. Of the verb plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion mm -hmm. about something so, that is not appropriate. Para dar sugerencias de algo que no es apropiado. apropiado. Okay. In that case, we are going to use should. You shouldn't do this. You should do this. Okay. 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 Let me see the time. Okay. Provide a suggestion about the next situation at work. Okay, number one, Peter is a new supervisor. He likes to give order. He never say please. What happened there? Tell me. Peter is a new supervisor. A él le gusta dar órdenes. Él nunca dice, por favor. Please. What is the answer? Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something, right? Okay, second case. When Carl is angry mm -hmm. or things are not as he expects, he shout. What happened there? Cuando Carly está enojado, este, él grita. Cuando las cosas no salen como él quiere. Yes. What is the advice? ¿Cuál sería la sugerencia? Car show. 
Should or shouldn't? Tolerant. Uh, show be tolerant. Should be or tolerant. Show, should, show should. be. Or shouldn't. shouldn't. Podría, podría ser car shouldn't angry when things are not as he expects. Shouldn't get angry. When things are not as he expects. Or could be he shouldn't shout. Él no debería de gritar. Okay. Uh, number three. My assistant never used a salutation in her email. What is the advice? ¿Qué advice le puede dar? Tell me. Uh, um, podría ser, you should, you should, use a salutation in him emails in him emails yeah could be could be what about uh, the last one lucy likes to tell jokes in the office she she loud very loud she loud my assistant should be um, greet in her emails. Ah, you are talking about the number three, right? Yes, mm. assistant. Yeah, yeah, the assistant. You are talking about the assistant. Assistant. Yeah, assistant. 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 Yeah. My assistant. Show should greet should should greet should use a greeting in her email. Should okay. Okay. What about the last one? Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She laughs very loudly. Tell me. Lucy should not tell jokes during business hours. Okay. What else? She shouldn't. She shouldn't. Lucy should. should not they are joking at uh, the office to low in the office okay she shouldn't laugh very loud okay okay that that is a way that we are going to use this expression okay and the activity number seven your term Right here said that you are going to write down three example of good behavior and bad behavior in business meeting. For example, uh, okay. I, I, I don't want to tell, give you an example because I need that you do it for me. Could you tell me please? Could you give me at least three example of good behavior and bad behavior in business meeting? We, we already talked about that. And by the way, do you remember the name that I mentioned that uh, is going to be with me today? ¿Se recuerdan la persona que le dije que le correspondía la, la tutoría del día de hoy? It is present or not? Present. Hola. Present teacher. Alexis. Yes. 
you are the one that you are going to stay with me today after 10, right? A usted le corresponde el día de hoy, Alexis? Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. We are going to stay after 10. Ahí nos quedaremos entonces después de la 10. Okay, in order to finish the class for today, I would like uh, three participants. Me gustaría tener a tres participantes that give me some example about good and bad behavior in business. Only three, please. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Me. Okay, Diana, you are the second one and the third one. Me falta uno, me falta uno. Solo tengo dos. Okay, let us start. Tell me. Me, Margarita. Okay, you are at number three, okay. Usted va a ser la tercera. Okay, the third one. El primero, please. Me. Okay, do it. Tell me. Perdón, no, no, no le entendí bien lo que vamos a hacer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We are going to talk about bad, good and bad behavior in companies. Using should or shouldn't. Vamos a hablar de conductas buenas y conductas malas en las compañías usando should or shouldn't. Okay. Um, in my company, should uh, friendly with other the people. Okay, we should be friendly with the rest of people, okay. Okay, tell me more. What else, what else? In my company show responsible we should be we should be responsible okay what else um diana tell me the boss should say hi to everyone in the meeting. Ah, okay. The boss should say hi to everyone in the meeting. Okay. The, um, the supervisor. The, the supervisor. supervisor. The supervisor should not uh, gritar. ¿Cómo se dice? Should not shout. Should, should not shout. To anybody. Uh -huh. at, at his co-worker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's co-workers. Okay. Okay, what else do you have there? Do you have something else? Any algo más? Eh, por el momento no. Esto le okay. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else? At the beginning, I say three, but I'm, okay. going, to, I'm going to let let you do it. Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, tell me. Should not eat or use cell phones in business hours. Uh-huh, okay. But we are missing something. Before should, we need to put on something. ¿Qué es lo que va antes de should? I don't know. El pronombre personal. You should. Yeah. Usted no debería de usar. Ah, you should not eat or use 
cell phone in business hours. In business hours. In business hours, okay? Hours. Yeah, hours. Hours. What else? What else do you have? Uh, you should help with order and clean your area. Your area, okay, 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 nice. I like that. Uh, you should not be intolerant with co workers. Co worker. Co worker. Co yeah, co worker. Nice. Only that. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, nice. Somebody else? Estaban contentos porque dije tres. Y dijeron, ya está, ya los tienen. No, I need more, I need more. Give me more, please. Teacher, what did you say? Permitir. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, okay. Le voy a decir una mesa si está bien. The company should not let me sexist jockets. Ah, okay. Let me do. Sexy. Let me do sexy sexy jokes jokes sexy jokes jokes. Okay. Yes. Somebody else, please. What about the rest? I I'm only seeing their faces. Solo le veo sus rostros, pero no quieren hablar. Mm -hmm. Do you do your work? Rosa, repeat again, please. You, you should you do should. your work. You should do your work. Usted debería hacer su trabajo. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. What else? What else do you have? ¿Qué más tenemos ahí? Mm. No. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Yo, bro, teacher. Okay, tell me. Who uh, is the clip war? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me mute the rose. Okay, tell me. You should clip war. I don't know, but I, I can listen very well. Se le está oyendo entrecortado. Will you repeat it in English? I connect. Sí, son problemas de conexión. You shouldn't. You shouldn't work. Does it? Hello? Yeah, we are facing different. We are facing problems with connection. Fausto, Fausto. No, I can hear you very well, Fausto. Listen. No, no, no le puedo oír bien, Fausto. Se le oye entrecortado, solo le estoy oyendo parte de la palabra. Ah, it's there, it's there, it's there. Now I can see your face. Could you repeat again? Maybe we have a good connection now. ¿Será que la repite? Yeah, I know you have problem. Okay, somebody else want to talk about it? Teacher. Tell me. Ah, Carla. My, my colleague, you'll not use the cell phone? 
Ok, ok, ordenemos la oración, tranquila, despacio. Michael Lee. Should not use the cell phone. Ok, ok. A la hora de hablar, sería mejor que ya se use shouldn't use the cell phone. Shouldn't. Shouldn't use the cell phone. Shouldn't, y, y shouldn't la, use the cell phone. Sí, y en la, a la hora de escribir lo puede dejar así, should not. Y a la hora de hablar, lo hace más corto. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yeah, nice. Good example. Ok. Ok, ¿son variados? Yes. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? Me ¿O, do you, ¿O do you have another sentence, Carla? ¿O tiene alguna otra oración, Carla? No? Ok, no problem. Okay. Me Somebody say me. Who is it? ¿Quién dijo In me? In my company. Yo. Okay, tell me. In my company, uh, I, como, uh, shouldn't be chatting in a meeting. Okay, ordenemos la oración. Ordenemos la oración. In my company. In my company. Sí. I shouldn't. I, 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 shouldn't, I shouldn't be chatting. I shouldn't be chatting in a meeting. In a meeting. 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 Yeah. Okay. De ahí proviene in la palabra. De ahí proviene la palabra meeting. Cuando los políticos dicen habrá meeting, ese es esa palabra meeting. Habrá reunión. Ese es, ese es el significado. Oh, hay gran meeting. Okay. De no sé qué dicen ellos ahí. Ok. Okay, 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 nice. What about you, lady? Do you want to tell me something about it? My, my neighbor uh, shouldn't smoke a lot. Your neighbor shouldn't smoke a lot. Shouldn't smoke a lot, okay? Okay. Do you have another example? Only that. Only, only, only one. one. Only one, okay. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Alguien más que no ha hablado? Mi teacher. Okay, Roxana Bautista, tell us. We sure, we sure. Hey, check the me emails today. We should check the email today. The email today. Okay. Should. 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 Yeah. Should. should. Yeah. Should. Relax. Relax your lips. Should. We should. Should. Yeah. Okay. We should. We should check the email today. Okay. Somebody else. And the last one, please. This is going to be the last one. For today. Uno más, uno más, uno más. Please, 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 please. Me teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Tell me, sir. Uh, you should do the platform task. You should do the platform task if you want to pass. Okay, nice. Ya ve, hasta en rima me salió, mira. <laughs> okay. Another example? Or solo ese bien? Okay, uh, let, 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 us, uh, let us talk about situation that happen in, in our daily life. Hablemos de situaciones en, de la vida diaria. Imagine that I say, I, I got a headache. If I say, I got a headache, what can you tell me using should? Si yo le digo, tengo un dolor de cabeza, what can you tell me? He, he should take care of your healthy. Okay, repeat again. Um, he should take care 
or you're helping. Mm, okay. Somebody else? Oh, Seria, he should not. He should not take care of your health. No está cuidando su salud. Mm. Él no está cuidando su salud. <laughs> sí, pero, pero remember that we are using should to give advices. Vamos a usar la palabra should para dar advices. If I say I have a headache, ¿qué advice me va a dar usted? ¿Qué sugerencia me va a dar? Ok. Debería tomar medicina. How do you say in English? How do you say in English? Take medicine. I, I should take medicine. Okay. Remember that you are talking about me. You are going to say you. Me. You. You. Should, you should. You should. You should take, take medicine. medicine. But what kind of medicine? You can say you should take an aspirin, you should take an Advil, you should, you should take a, a Dolophin, you should take a, an Advil, I don't know, an ibuprofen, different kind of, what happened, and that usually happens in, in your uh, workplace, right? I, imagine this case, if a co-worker tell you, uh, Imagínese, Carla, si una compañera le dice, Carla, I feel dizzy. I feel dizzy. You know what is dizzy? Se siente mareada. ¿Cuál es la sugerencia que le haría a usted? In English, tell me. Vamos a ver qué tan buena es para dar sugerencia. Ah, ahí está. Tell me. No sé cómo responder en, en inglés. <laughs> what, no what? sé cómo formularla. Eso está fácil. Solo va, va a usar el pronombre primero. You should y después el you verbo. Should, you should. You should. Sit down. No, you should. Sentarse. You, you should sit down. Sit down. Debería de ser. Okay. You should rest. Ah, okay, you should rest. Could be. What else? ¿Qué más? Take a... Uh, did break? You should take a break. You should take a break. Take a help. break. Sí. You, Pero you I, should sit, sit down. Or you should sit down. Or maybe you should call your supervisor and tell him. O mejor, llame al supervisor y dígale, no, porque si le digo que estoy enferma, me despide. Yeah? You should be quiet. Entonces, mire, mejor cállese. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Espero que hayan comprendido lo de shoot and shooting. Recuerden que siempre van a usar el pronombre personal primero. Si usted tiene niños, usted le dice, debería de hacer las tareas antes de irse a jugar. You should do your homework before go out to play. Yeah, in that way. Or you shouldn't spend a lot of time in front of the TV because you need to do your homework. You shouldn't stay quiet during my class. Usted no debería de permanecer tan callada o tan callado durante mi clase. ¿Ya? Yeah. Sí, aquí, aquí no se trata de estar solo de, de espectador. We need to participate. We need to participate. Necesitamos participación para que todo nos salga bien. Ok. Ok, before to leave, antes de irnos, le suplico por favor, tal vez no hoy porque ya es tarde, pero traten de entrar a la plataforma y hacer las actividades. Necesito reportar las notas de todo. Tengo a muchos que no tienen las actividades. If you want, you can send me a message tomorrow and I can tell you um, which one you are missing or how many you are missing. Okay? Okay.
Okay, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Alexis, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, nice. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh. Y el que se quedará aquí será quién, Alexis o yeah? Alexis. Is Alexis. Walter sigue con problemas de comunicación. Ahí está, pero no nos habló hoy. Okay, it's gonna be tomorrow, Walter. See you tomorrow, Walter. El teacher, yes, and the problem in connection. Yeah, yeah, connection. Un poquito de... Dije de que como que por aquí se ha caído una antena algo cerca, como que quizás eso está fallando. Yeah, maybe. Pero, sí, ya yo ayer y ahora me dije que me iba a conectar a las nueve, ahí me sí. metí, pero me ha costado. Voy sí. a ver primero días mañana, se pueda establecer y si no, voy a ver cómo hago. Compro datos o algo, pero a modo de estar en las clases por lo menos miércoles, jueves y viernes. Excelente, lo felicito por su esfuerzo todavía. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, sí, señor. Alexis, tengo, una, tengo un problema. Ok, tell me, Alexis. ¿Cuál es el la, problema? Tarea 7. La tarea 7. Estuve en esa clase y ya vi el video y la verdad no. No Dice, comprende. Write the information. Say a proper question. Don't forget to use the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Ok, let me see. I have it here. Déjenme mirar la que yo aquí la tengo también. Teacher, y así como esa que usted dice que, que no le he enviado, pero aquí en la plataforma yo ya las hice y ya las envié, ¿cómo haríamos ahí? Pues déjeme consultar el día de mañana. Ajá, uh -huh, porque sí, yo ya voy en la tarea 11, todas las demás ya las hice, menos las 7, estoy ahí en duda. Ok, ya veremos qué es lo que está pasando. Bien, sí. Tarea 7. Sí, dice que hay que leer la información y escriba una pregunta adecuada y que hay que usar los auxiliares. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me see, I'm trying to see. It. Estoy tratando de verla, pero no la puedo ver, no sé por qué. I don't know if you can show me. ¿Será que usted lo puede mostrar para verlo así más rapidito? No, no sé cómo, teacher. No, ah, ok, let me see. Let me see if I can see it here. No, I can, I can see it. Déjeme ver, déjeme ver si puedo. Sería el tema 7, me dice. Sí, 7. Déjeme si. Sí. Creo que también estoy en las mismas condiciones de problemas que no me están cargando las páginas. Ok. That's, let me see, let me try in this way. Ok, let me see. Tarea número 7 dice, esta es la 5. Es 4, 5. I don't know why I can see it. Unidad 5, tarea 5. Sí, 
Estoy esperando que cargue. Tarea 6. Tarea 6. Tarea 7. Let me see where it is. Right here. I got it, I got it. The instruction says, read the information and type the proper question. Lea la información y escriba la, 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 la pregunta correcta. Don't forget to use the auxiliaries. No se olvide de usar los auxiliares. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that we talk about auxiliaries like do and does? Uh, do or does? Do you remember that class? Uh, do or does? Yeah, but in some cases, not only just do and does, also we can use an auxiliary, a B form of the verb. También podemos usar como auxiliar una forma de B, que puede ser am, is, or are. Uh, yo pensé que era solo de usar lo que estaba ahí. No, por eso le está diciendo, la, la explicación le está diciendo que no olvide usar auxiliares. You are. En algunos los tienen, en otros no los tienen. Uh -huh. Sí, porque aquí tiene el, el she. En, en, el, en algunos tienen los auxiliares, en otros no. Ok. That means that you, you are going to remember auxiliares. Ok. Ok. What else? Yes. ¿Qué más? Y, no, y con eso usted me, al grupo voy a escribir mañana de lo de las tareas esas que yo le digo que ya las envié. Ok, ok. Le, le envío una foto de, en sí, la sí. plataforma. Sí, una captura. Ajá, ahí es su personal de, sí, para aquí. que señale. Sí, envíeme una captura y voy a consultar eso porque yo necesito ya ir, ir cuadrando todo eso. Sí, porque sí voy al, al día con las tareas ahorita. Ok, perfecto. No sé si tiene alguna otra duda o pregunta relacionada a lo que ya vimos. No, oh, dicho por ahorita. Está bien. bien. Ok. Sí, perfecto. yo como es primera vez que recibo esta clase, a veces me, me cuesta un poco, pero ahí vamos tratando de okay. seguir el hilo. Ok, ok, ok. Pero gracias, Tichi. Ok, you're welcome. Entonces, I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.